plastic commander here. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in quite a few days or perhaps even a week or so. I've been really, really busy lately. But anyway, I thought I would give you guys a treat. I noticed a lot of different channels that sit around toys or especially toy army men have some sort of official collection video. So we did a video on the Commander Quarter Shelf and I thought today I would just show you all of it, you know? I'm not really gonna go into detail. We're gonna thumb through pretty much all of these just a little bit and I'm just gonna give you guys a general overview of my army. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So starting off, we're gonna just move from left to right. And we're going to come over here to the gray tub. I'm going to move this one. So, all the grays. It's a mixture of German soldiers, Civil War. Here's a mortar from a Revolutionary War set. And there's also some Timmy figures. I have uh, Timmy army men in pretty much every color they produce. Right over here, we got some True Heroes, which dollar stores sold these. Long, long time ago. More to me. Here is a knockoff of a Mark's Russian soldier. You used to be able to get these off of Amazon a long time ago. They had a whole set of knockoffs. For Germans, that's what this mostly is. Is mostly Germans. I'm actually going to move this one so you can see all of it. So, lifting it up. We have some armies in plastic. Um... Galaxy Laser Team stuff is mixed here. Funnily enough, I actually keep the Wild West stuff sorted, but not the Galaxy Laser Team stuff. So I need to actually sort it out. So yeah. And right here, it's a knockoff of a Arco figure. Arco army men are really hard to get, and there's a company that knocked them off a long, long time ago. And uh, knockoffs are even worth a decent bit of money. So, coming over here, of course, we got the greens. Put my hand in there. It's just a mixture of everything. Just literally. Hing Fat Japanese soldier. That's a knockoff of Airfix. We got a, um, a reproduction marks figure. There's a tan. I don't know how a tan armies in plastic got in there. But yeah, the greens... You know, pretty self-explanatory. Timmy figure, which this one is new. That's a reproduction. And here's Alito right there. So, come over. We have the Reds. Communism forever. Which the Reds are mostly Revolutionary War figures. Here's a diver. I only have a handful of those. Um, more Timmy. Reproduction. Russian Mark soldiers. You know. Uh, also, female army men that were made by BMC. I have those in almost every color. So, that's the reds. This is going to be a really quick, just going through and just showing off a little bit of my collection. So, the tans. We got more marks. We have knockoff Airfix Africa Core. I don't have any actual Airfix Africa Core figures. BMC. A lot of the collection, especially the green and the tan, is a lot of knockoffs and dollar store Walmart Army Men, um, which those are still fairly collectible to me because those were the Army Men I primarily grew up with. So when I first started collecting. Those were the ones I first started going after. And there's Sookie. So let's come over here to the blue. Last time I counted, I got 513, although it's probably closer to about 530 now if I had to guess. So a lot of Timmy, a lot of vintage Timmy blue in here. I have all the vintage Timmy soldiers in every color they really they produce vintage and reproduction NPC Civil War go watch my video on that a tiny tiny paratrooper man don't know where he came from San Juan Hill some Rough Riders BMC Revolutionary War Soldiers Galaxy Laser Team so 
And this one right here is a mess. It is mostly vehicles and just stuff that will not fit in the main tubs anymore. So I don't even know if I should go through this at all. But um, over in the red tub, I have some firemen. This is a vintage fire truck, probably from the 1990s, early 2000s. So those are the main tubs. And this one's primarily vehicles. And I'm going to come over here. Here's the commander quarter where my intros come from. Uh, most of my more decent vehicles are there. And I have some more right over there. You can see an armored Tibby car there. So I have another box dedicated to vehicles. This isn't everything, by the way. This isn't. Like, as crazy as that sounds, this is not every single thing I own. But I have another box that is dedicated to vehicles, jets, tanks, cars, stuff like that. This is one of them, but so, so much has gotten in here that's not that. It's like a hodgepodge of everything. So, those are the main tubs. We're going to come over to the smaller ones. And each of these are themed, uh, for the most part. The only theme I don't have separated from the main tubs is going to be Galaxy Laser Team and Space, which I really need to sort those out. In fact, I'm probably going to do that sometime this week. But anyway, coming right along over here, we have the Piss Platoon. And new additions to the Piss Platoon. I got about 100 of these guys for a really good price. They're knockoff Airfix figures. I just really like them because they're yellow. I like anything that's like a unique color. You don't see a whole lot of yellow army men. Yellow Timmy. Yellow Timmy figures, of course, are always well sought after. Here's one holding a grenade, so even more sought after. And then we got some knockoff Matchbox figures. There's a company called Hing Fat, and they make knockoffs of Matchbox, really good ones. And used to, the knockoffs were just basically what Matchbox figures look like. And then recently, they actually remolded all of them, so they have their own version, own reimagining re of those figures. So they're really cool. I've had those for years, and I have both versions that they've produced, so... Right here, Pirates, and it's in a Toys R Us True Heroes Pirate Bucket. Now, the True Heroes line at Toys R Us was also under the name True Legends that was sold at Target. So if you ever bought Army Men from Target, they were exactly the same. They were made by the same company. So, fun little fact there. Coming over here to the White Bucket, which this is mostly like Stormtroopers. I have about 50 of these clone troopers that were painted, and I got them for the only reason of restoring them, and I just, you know, don't have the time, and it's such a hassle. So, we also have some Marks, Guns of Navarone, White Soldiers, our Africa Corps, they were released in the Battleground set for Africa. So, Airfix, which this is new, this isn't vintage. So, the Whites... Right over here, we have the first of two small western tubs, mostly accessories, so some Wild West figures. Now, when it comes to these Wild West figures, these figures were primarily, well, they were originally made by Airfix. Then Tim E started knocking them off and using them for their Wild West playsets. So, pretty much any knockoff Wild West figures you find, at like the dollar store or whatever, those are knockoffs from Tibby, and then those knockoffs are actually knockoffs of Airfix. So it's like a really weird knockoff train. Over here, one of the jewels of my collection would have to be these Wild West figures. Now, I have no idea who made these. If I had to guess, I would say either Tempo or probably ideal toys but they're so cool and you can tell they're really really old from the early 60s late 50s so i know a lot of you guys come to me for you ask me like clay do you know what these army men are but these right here does anyone know where these came from so i'm thinking by tempo or ideal each one is unique i got them at a flea market so if any of you guys know where those come from, that would be great. And then, of course, the other Wild West tub. 
And this one's full of a lot of vintage Timmy, like 125 scale figures. So uh, originally Timmy made these figures that were way bigger. Then they started making knockoffs of Airfixes, Wild West molds, which I have some of those around here somewhere. And then I have some of these I found at a thrift store. And these are knockoffs of six inch Marks Wild West figures. Now, at first, I thought they were made by Marks. In my head, I thought Marks had made just regular versions of their six inch figures that were 132, but no. It turns out they, in fact, were knocked off by another company, and those are still vintage, and they're really, really cool. So, horses in here as well. Another Marks knockoff. So, Wild West figures, really, really cool. Here's a brand new Timmy. So they reproduce these, are a victory by does. And uh, reproductions are brown and tan. When Timmy, when they released these, released them in several different colors, like green, yellow, red, blue. And I have pretty much all of them in every color, as you can see. So <laughs> coming right over here, skeletons. Just a lot of skeletons and mummies and monsters. I'll do a video on these during Halloween, do a Halloween special on spooky army bit, I guess. But these are primarily sold at dollar stores all over the country. Um, and every year, I always make sure to buy up a bunch of these. This is like two years of buying these up. I forgot one year, the year I first started collecting army men, which that was almost four years ago now, now that I'm thinking about it. I forgot. I was real upset, but I waited for the next Halloween to loop back around. So right over here, which... This should be one of the last tubs we look at. Some Medieval Knights. Uh, this is another True Hero set produced by Toys R Us. And I bought this offline. I had one of these sets as a kid, and I, made, I was able to find it on eBay for relatively cheap. And mixed in are some Mark's Robin Hood figures. Now, here's a little bit of history Marks had a parent company called Plastimarks that was based in Mexico that made figures pretty much exactly the same way they did. And they stayed open a little while longer than uh, Marks did. This is a Plastimarks figure, not made by Marks, but by Plastimarks. I found these at a flea market in the bag. Really, really cool. I love this guy who's like a bishop. But yeah, I also have a bunch of horses in here. I probably have, if I had to guess, about 70 horses. I own so many. Then also some of these Red Knights right here. I owned a bunch of these as a kid, and I managed to find some. These were sold in souvenir shops mostly, especially around, like, beaches and stuff. And of course, everyone knows what the true heroes and true legends knights look like, if you ever went to Target or Toys R Us as a kid. So... That's what this one mostly is. Galaxy Laser Team. Don't know how he got in there. So the last, last thing we'll look at over here is this. And I freaking love this. I got this at a thrift store while on vacation. It's a little metal tin. And I filled it with ninjas. <laughs> so Imperial made these. Uh, they made them in these tubes that Target sold and Toys R Us that had like, it was like pirates versus ninjas or, you know, cavemen versus army men. Like, they were really cool. They were a little bit after I got a little older, didn't care about army men, which, yeah, that ended pretty quick. But yeah, I have a bunch of these. I have probably 90, and I just filled them up in this metal tin. So, anyway, guys, that's just the general overview of the army men collection so anyway thank you guys for watching the video i'm sorry i haven't uploaded in a bit i have a lot of plans uh for future videos i'm going to be working on this week uh so expect a video out in the next couple of days so we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers that might be possible um we're growing pretty decently though even with that reddit spike we had about a month and a half ago even with that, we're still doing pretty well. I'm kind of working my way up into being one of the more recognized uh, toy channels. So thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you stay tuned. And always, always remember, drink the tap water. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm the Plastic Commander.